Pertandingan tinju kali ini adalah momen di mana Holyfield akhirnya dapat dihajar KO secara brutal. Holyfield adalah petinju yang pernah membuat Mike Tyson kalah dua kali. Sedikit bercerita, saat melawan Tyson di laga pertama, terlihat Holyfield beberapa kali mendapat peringatan dari wasit karena menadu wajah Mike Tyson dengan kepalanya. Ditambah seringnya Holyfield merangkul Tyson yang jujur membuat saya juga jengkel saat melihat pertandingan saat itu. Namun di pertandingan kali ini Holyfield benar-benar dibuat kalah dengan KO, lebih tepatnya TKO. Pertandingan ini terjadi setahun sebelum pertandingan Holyfield melawan Tyson, yaitu di bulan November 1995. Pertandingan seru antara Holyfield melawan Riddick Bowe. Dalam pertandingan ini saya sengaja menampilkan hanya di ronde 6 sama dengan ronde 8, yaitu momen seru-serunya pertarungan antar mereka berdua. Di mana Riddick Bowe juga sempat dipukul jatuh dan akhirnya dia menang TKO Baik, tanpa menunggu lama dan sambil buat kopi dan cemilan Mari bersama-sama kita saksikan momen pertandingan seru Holyfield melawan Riddick Bow Selamat menyaksikan I gave him a 9-8 round because I think he gave such a licking to Holyfield. professional come on don't be holding don't be holding and Get he is there. showing there. some stuff that we Let's haven't go. seen before in terms of his heart and will and it's a good thing he got into great condition for this fight Holyfield's punches without snap now what do you make oh, of this George? George you seem as stunned as everyone else no I'm not stunned I mean Van der Holyfield is fighting on pure pure courage Dangerous courage in your view. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Ten seconds left in round six. Holyfield mounts an attack again. Bo can't seem to stop the left hand. Evander misses with the right. Here we go again. It contributed to the final blow, and there it is, that left hook, down goes Bo, down goes Bo, an amazing turnabout, when you've been watching fights as long as we have, you're hesitant 
in, in suggesting that something like this could happen again. So we are as startled as anyone else. Round 31. There was no doctor in Holyfield's corner between rounds. The commander still seems to be struggling to regain his breath. Gargantuan effort from both men. Let's go, come on, give me a clean round. Holyfield in round six landed 30 of 41 punches, and most of them were power shots. Both men seeming to try to get a little bit of a rest here, George. Well, I wouldn't want to get a rest this way. <laughs> Let me clean it out, guys. Come on, work out of here. Your hands are free, guys. More than a minute into round seven, one short left hook from Bo, the most significant bunch of the round. Get those out. Don't, don't lock him up. Don't lock him up in there. Get those out. Let him lose, guys. Let him lose. Let him lose. Uppercut landed again for Holyfield. Watch your heads inside. Watch your heads. All right, get him out. Let him out. Let him out of there. Don't hold. Don't be holding. Let him out. Come on. Get him out. Get him out. They begin to trade again. Both men finding some of the snap in their punches in this last minute of round seven. Throughout the second of their three fights, Evander Holyfield effectively stole right, rounds right, by on, flurrying in the last 30 seconds. Get him out of here. Let's right, see if that's what he has in mind here. Step back, step back. Come on, let's go. Let's go. George Foreman, you're curiously quiet. The old saying is sometimes the more is less. <laughs> and less is more. Care to explain? You just don't feel as though you should comment on what you're watching? Is that it? It's, it's, uh, it's just as a dangerous situation, and uh, there's no intelligence that I can get out of it at this point. Holyfield has had this diagnosis. And he is showing, and he's showing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. you stand right in front of this guy. We you work on you that cannot deal. stand in front of this guy. Okay. You can't stand in front. Of All you gotta do is step around. Him. Step around. Hey, look. When, when you do fire, fire in sets, not one or two, right. three and four. Hey, and set, shorten that hook up, okay? Right. Don't aim for his head. Aim for his shoulder. You got me? All right. All right. Keep those punches in his body going. Little uppercut, little uppercut and hook. Okay. All right. You got me started. Remember, remember. Yeah, you did it once. It looked as though somebody might have brushed some smelling salts across Bo's nose. Yep. Harold, how do you have the score after seven rounds? Larry, four, two, one even in rounds, 66, 65 in points. Riddick Bow by one point. Larry, I gave uh, Evander an extra point in round six for the knockdown, but I still scored that other end round five, nine to nine. I scored it even. I'll tell you, this is tremendous stuff. Hard right hand inside by Holyfield, and now down goes Evander. A right hand, hand by Bow. A right hand inside. As Holyfield lunged Six. to get back at him. Seven. Did the trick. Don't think he's going to make it. Nine. No, he made it. How do you feel? Yeah. How, how do you feel? Take a step forward. Take a step forward. How does he feel? Take a step forward. Take a step forward. Wonderful. Terrific. Right, 
Inilah momen kedua kalinya Bob mampu menjatuhkan Holyfield Dan wasit menghentikan pertarungan Akhirnya Riddick Bow menang melawan Holyfield dengan TKO Sangat seru pertandingan ini Dan marilah kita saksikan tayangan ulangnya Inilah momen di mana Holyfield terjatuh pertama kali Dia sampai tengkurap Dan inilah momen di mana Holyfield jatuh untuk kedua kalinya. Kukulan kombinasi yang cukup keras dari Bow membuat Holyfield langsung jatuh. Terhuyung-huyung. Dan akhirnya dia kalah TKO. Dengan kemenangan Riddick Bow ini, berakhir pula video kali ini. Semoga terhibur dan berkah selalu. Sukses untuk teman-teman semua. Terima kasih. Thanks.